when we come together in agreement to seek the guidance of the Lord, we turn ourselves into trumpets. We are there to point others to Him, to point others to our Messiah, to our Lord Jesus, Yeshua. And we believe it's a declaration for people to be bold in their faith, in their testimony to the Lord, and not to compromise themselves by the world, by the trend, by what is popular. So it is a time for calling ourselves to be in the righteous path of what the Lord has written for us in His Word. When I think of Prophet Daniel, I'm compelled by his decisions, by his righteousness, by the way that he didn't compromise his faith and his testimony for anything or anyone. So um, when I read the Word and I go to the book of Daniel, I see so many demonstrations of God's power, His mercy, and, and His protection over His people. So this painting takes us to understand what happened before Daniel was thrown into the pit of the lions. I invite all of you to read on the word. It's Daniel chapter 6, and this is specific is verse 10, when it talks about how Daniel got into his upper room when he knew that the royal edict had been signed, that he could all, could, didn't have permission to worship any other god or man. And he had to make a decision. He had to decide if he's going to go with the law of men that prohibits and hinders him from being a testimony for the Lord, or if he's going to obey the Lord, even if his life is a jeopardy. So he decided for righteousness. He went and opened the windows of his room, and he prayed three times a day, just like he used to do. He didn't change a thing, and he was bold and he was courageous. So as you see, this window, it's uh, antique window. It's an old window, but the city is current Israel. It's actually Jerusalem where the three faiths converge. We have Islam, we have Judaism, and we have the Christian world, right? So this is an explanation of, you know, that in the Old Testament we have a foreshadow of what is going to come, like a harbinger. So in this case, we're seeing a mirror image of what is happening these days. You see, there's persecution. Just because you're proclaiming that you follow Lord Messiah, our Lord Jesus, Yeshua. So we have to understand that what happens in the Old Testament reflects in the new one, the new pact through Yeshua. And that's what we wanted to express in this painting. This painting is the prophetic symbolism of our boldness and our courage that we have to have today to stand up for our testimony and our decision to follow our Lord Jesus, Yeshua. Daniel is definitely one of my favorite prophets. He was not only bold, he was wise, and he had a decision. He made a decision for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Daniel was extremely bold, he was courageous, and he was not going to compromise his faith or his testimony to preserve his life. Daniel was willing to die in order to defend not only his belief, but his testimony, his decision to serve the Lord. Daniel uh, saw himself in a situation where King Darius um, had to sign this edict to prevent him from serving and from praying to his God. So he decided that at this time he couldn't obey the law of men and he was going to obey the law of God even if it cost him his life. In Daniel's heart, the law of God was above any law of men. There's a couple of verses I want to share. Just as I mentioned, the Old Testament is the foreshadow of the new, the new covenant with our Lord Jesus. And Jesus said it himself, his own words. If we go to the book of Matthew 10, 39, he's saying, he who finds his life will lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake will find it. We see that the Lord is telling us, not, it's not only a promise, but it's also a warning. And we have to understand that our lives are to be dedicated to the Lord, 100%. Another thing that um, one of the apostles wrote in 2 Timothy 3.12 is that, yes, we all, you and me, all of us, that desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. So it's a time to make a decision. It's a time to decide for what the Lord has outlined in His Word for our lives and our testimony and what He expects from us, and He will take care of the rest. I want to encourage you to be bold, to make a decision, 
and to choose life, but life in abundance. Following our Lord Jesus and to turn yourself into a trumpet for the nation. When we blow the shofar as a prophetic declaration um, of our decision to follow our Lord Yeshua, Shalom.